So let's get into part four of freestyle swimming biomechanics. Mickey, I'm going to get you to actually lie on your side, please. We're going to get on the iliosaurus. So this is all about the kicking propulsive phase. So we're going to start out with the iliosaurus muscle. Are you okay with me getting in there? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to stabilize the low back here. And you're going to bring both the arm and the leg back like so. Okay? So let me just get on there. You okay? Yep. So we're talking about the uh, kicking propulsive phase. Okay, bring it back. So during the propulsive phase, or the downbeat of the kick, the swimmer's leg moves downward in the water, generating propulsive force that essentially moves the swimmer forward. You okay? Yep. And back. Take it up. So the uh, beginning of this phase is initiated by the uh, hip flexors, primarily the iliopsoas. When the uh, hip flexors contract, they draw the thigh upwards towards the torso. Hip flexion, essentially. You okay? Yeah. And again, good. Right back. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this down here a little bit. Okay, now bring that back again. Feeling that a lot more, yeah. aren't you? All right, so the force generated by the iliopsoas muscle during the upward, basically drawing of the leg in back. This is uh, essentially part of what gives the kick its power and the uh, swimmer their uh, forward momentum. You okay? Yeah. And again. And again, good. So when I'm doing this, I am not using the end of my elbow. I'm going flat against here, fairly superficial, and I'm taking it either superior or inferior. Okay, so I'm gonna take this down just a, one little bit here. Go ahead. It feels quite different, doesn't it? So yeah, down. Like all the way up. All the way up. <laughs> <laughs> and back. And again. Good. And back. Good. Okay, I'm going to get you to have a seat here. We're going to move on to the rectus femoris here, please. One leg down. Again, we're talking about the uh, kicking propulsive phase. Okay. Getting on to the rectus femoris. Now, uh, specifically during flutter kick, the uh, rectus femoris muscle plays a, a pivotal role. There we go. You okay? Mm hmm. Okay. Now, bring your, that's right, your foot in internal rotation. So, the uh, rectus femoris contracts to extend the knee powerfully, uh, driving the leg downwards in the water. So, if we consider that uh, this downward motion of the leg creates a propulsive force that pushes the swimmer forward, this muscle is pretty important. First, the linear one was not too bad, internal rotation a little bit more, and now circumduction, we're really getting into the fascia and we're getting into the restrictions, so we have the rectus femoris underneath this, the habastus intermedius, so if I'm going to actually access any restrictions that are between those two levels, I've got to put a little bit of circumduction in there. You okay? Yeah. Good.
Good. Excellent. So, again, critical structures in terms of propulsion. So let's move on to the last phase of this series.